I'm Brian Rogers. I'm coming here actually with uh, two capacities. So I am the director of the eBay uh, chain, and I'm also the CEO of NeuroThink, a machine learning uh, platform. Uh, my business partner and the senior vice president of operations and business development, Charles Donnelly, he'll be speaking after me about NeuroThink. So it'll be very interesting. Probably have met uh, some of you and have probably got to know uh, quite a few of you as well. Um, my background, I've been doing blockchain for since 2015, um, where I was at, at Columbia University. I was the, the co-founder and the chairman of the Columbia Blockchain Alliance. As part of Columbia and my involvement in Columbia, I went on to found uh, the Machine Learning Society in New York City, which was a, a society for machine learning uh, experts and scientists. From there, I have um, have been a serial entrepreneur. This uh, NeuroThink is my fifth startup now. I've also had two, two patents that I authored uh, in the past. So enough of me, uh, Charles. So Charles Donnelly, uh, I think that when you get a chance to hear him speak, you'll be really impressed. He's a very smart guy. He has um, three graduate degrees. Uh, his areas of study are engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, and he has an MBA. Um, and after school, he was selected by the US Navy in the nuclear power program, where he was designing nuclear reactors. So he's definitely the right guy to be involved on my team with machine learning and some of the complex math that goes into machine learning. So AB Chain is a, it's a third generation blockchain technology. Um, this is our second generation of the AB Chain. The AB Chain, the first one, we started going to the second version in March uh, with about 100,000 uh, active users. Uh, since March, we've increased by 50,000 more uh, active users on, the, on this blockchain. What makes this chain unique is we are, what we have is a, what we call a hybrid consensus uh, mechanism on a, a multi-layered blockchain. So what this, what this means is we have a delegated proof of stake and we have a proof of work component. Um, the chains we call the fast chain and the slow chain. So the fast chain is all about doing the um, transaction val validation. Um, we're doing five seconds per block, few hundred transactions in the per block. Once that transaction, once the, the block is validated, there's the proof of stake, which is the component of a additional authentic authentication to sign off the signature of, of the, the transactions. The transactions are much faster than what you find in other traditional tra chains out there. One of the things, that, another benefit that we have with this uh, chain is the, our gas fees are quite a bit li lower because we set the gas limit uh, appropriate to the number of transactions. Another thing about this chain which is, is quite unique is because of the speed of the, of the chain, we right now um, are doing around well, about 10,000 transactions per second. We believe we can hit 150,000 transactions per second, um, which is pretty remarkable that we've found so far. First, I'll walk you through how this works. There's the fast chain, which is made up of a committee that are selected by a level of staking. Uh, once they validate this every five seconds, it gets dropped into what we call fruit. And the fruit is basically just a record of all these transactions. From the fruit, the slow chain will go and do the validation on, these, on the fruit and sign off on it. So one of the things that we're all really aware of by now is to have a blockchain that really thrives in the future, you need uh, the ability to be uh, cross-chain interoperable. So this is another thing we've, we've built into the chain right now. Um, the way we do this is we have multi-sig contracts to, to bridge for the assets from other chains. As we built this out, we really wanted to develop a, an ecosystem, a decentralized ecosystem that was competitive with a lot of the things that are out there. You know, and I'm sure you've, you've heard from a lot of uh, different chains out there that claim that they have all these things. Um, we've actually built all these things except for the very last one. The NFT marketplace, that will be later in the summer. Starting off with our stablecoin. So we call this Acash. So Acash 
is a stable token that is um, pegged to the, the dollar, and we have the ability to then convert the ACT to USD. Um, and the AST, AST is minted by purchasing it with any of the popular cryptos, like Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin, et cetera. Having a, a good blockchain, you have to also have a, a strong, robust smart contract process. This is another thing that we have that um, we've been working really hard on. We really want to make this very easy for users. So we have a very easy user interface to be able to build these smart contracts. So, and again, as I said, we have a, a low gas fee because of the, the level of transactions. So one of the exciting things about what we have, I think, that's it's one of the, a really unique thing, is a alternative to a, a decentralized uh, storage application that's based on um, IPFS. So essentially what we've done is we've created an incentive layer on, on this uh, I, the IPFS. Um, with this uh, incentive layer, we, we reward in the um, AST. The, the AST can also then be, we have a one-to-one -one parity with Filecoin, so as you earn ASTs, if you want to move them out into um, to Filecoin, you can. And this is actually our first example of our uh, interoperability with another chain, and many more to come. To step through, and I, and I, for those of you in the audience that know a lot about this, this is gonna be very simple. Um, so the very basics of how this works is a user pays a miner to store the data. Uh, the miner commits data and the network validates and then the user pays the miner to retrieve the data. So really from what you've seen out there, it's really not much different than, than others out there. One thing that's, that is different about this, we have a, an application that will allow um, our miners to be able to basically access pre-configured nodes um, this is pretty big because with some of the other players out there, it can be pretty complex. I mean, IPFS has some really strict requirements on what, how you set up your nodes. What we've done is we're making it very easy for the miners. We, will, we have these pre-configured nodes. You can go in as a miner and start rolling right away. And what this means also, because you're not responsible for all the restrictions that come along with IPFS, you'll never have fines. Of course, there's the DeFi aspect. So we actually now are, we've been building out and we have in operation a DEX, but we'll be um, building out this more and more. Um, right now, XSwap does have compatibility with all the major um, wallets out there. One of the things, another really exciting addition to storage that, that really excites our team is we now have the domain music.net for NFTs. This is a really interesting play because it's going to be specifically focused on the, you know, the entire music industry. So it's not just individual artists, it's going to be anybody that's involved in music. The process is a very simple three-step process. You, as an artist, you come in, you enter, you go into a form, answer a few questions, and you step through, and the next step, you upload your, your asset, and then the last step, our team goes in and validates the assets that's been uploaded. The other thing that's really cool about this that we haven't seen out there is we do support digital rights contracts. So part of those questions, we start to build that digital rights contract. And the, the way it is structured from a standpoint of copies, you can do 100 up to 100,000 copies. Coming to an end here, there's one last thing I wanted to announce. So we, we're using this conference to make a, a big announcement with music.net. There are many other things that we'll be doing in the future. Our first big NFT release is going to be the Grammy and AMA award-winning Naughty by Nature. Um, we have many others coming up, uh, so uh, it'll be a very interesting uh, journey with music.net. Uh, we currently are trading um, eBay on zbx.com and zbx.plus, uh, and we are working on uh, rolling out into other exchanges out there. So um, thank you very much.